All right, so today we learned how to use the problem-solving process to solve a little bit more difficult problems than you may have seen before. And so, although the problem-solving process is very useful, it doesn't actually give you an answer. It just, it's just a procedure to help you organize your thoughts and maybe help you think of ways that you may not have thought, out, thought of before about the procedure. So people use this process in everyday life, and you do too. Can you think of any ways that you've used this process, you know, today, in the last week, or in the past month?